Hello, welcome to my first video of 2024. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. You're going to see a slight fail. Um, I had to go back and retake um, <laughs> this video because I screwed up, but you'll see that in a second. I hope you enjoy this video. So last time out, it was all a bit of a fail. Insert clips here. The thickness of a can. Here we go, right, low pressure. Stock cap. So yeah, as you can see, I didn't angle the GoPro very well. So hopefully this recording comes out much better. So this time round, I'm gonna film it properly and I'm gonna check the footage before I piss off. So we're gonna start with the yellow Cobra fat cap on the low pressure. And uh, there's some crappy piece of work that I did a while ago, which has been dogged, so it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna use the can as the spacer. So we've got an even test. Fair test. So that's the low pressure. High pressure. It's pretty much the same. All right, switch over to the pink dot. Fresh pink dot, can't find one. Should have prepared this earlier. Fresh pink dot. Right, let's start with the low again. And we'll do the same distance to keep it a fair test. Ooh, that's coming out a weird shape. But anyway, that's what it is. Right. High pressure. Same again. I would say that's the same, pretty much. It must be some kind of difference. But you probably need some kind of measuring device. Like measure the volume coming out over a second or whatever, over a set time. Right. Yellow banana. Low pressure again. Actually, switch it up. Right, high pressure. Here's the width of the can. It is literally the same. I don't see any difference. These cans are basically like got the same volume. They were used cans, but yeah, they pretty much have the same volume in. So yeah, no real difference there. Shall we do All right, the good old Night Quill version two this is, so it's slightly wider, stronger clip there, and yeah, different on the bottom. So Night Quill goes on perfect. Some people care. Some people aren't bothered, each their own, but I really like them. So, yellow banana, low pressure, a little like half press, trying to be as light as possible. See what happens with high pressure, yellow banana, and the night quill. I would say there's a very slight difference. Very slight. So there we go, that is it for this video. I've got to say looking back at the footage that the high pressure does seem to have slightly higher output but not a great deal difference. Um, Personally, I'd expect more between like a low pressure and a high pressure can if that's what it's kind of advertised as. But anyway, it is what it is. I, I was kind of like expecting the the kind of spray to be wider, to be fair. But thinking about it, like the cap is like fixed as it is. Like it's just obviously the output is going to be more. You're going to get greater volume over a set period of time. And to really make it a fair test and actually understand it properly, that's need some kind of measuring device like full 
full capacity of the valve over a second or five seconds and see what the volume is compared to the other and that's probably how you really see the real difference trying to get scientific and trying to make it a fair test um, that's kind of what I'm thinking in my head anyway but anyway I'm never going to go into that detail um, but yeah I hope this video is slightly informative that a Cobra low pressure and a Cobra high pressure for me personally there isn't a great deal of difference at all um, it really doesn't matter um, both of the paints I found quite good in terms of opacity um, I've had some people tell me that certain colours aren't very good, but I don't think they're painting over, um, you know, like nicely emulsion surfaces. But anyway, um, I'm going off on a tangent now. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video if you got this far. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give this video a thumbs up because that always helps. Uh, drop a comment. Tell me your thoughts on high pressure, low pressure, all that stuff. Is it just a gimmick? Bloody blah. blah. Um, the next manufacturer I'm going to do a high pressure and a low pressure test against. Um, I think there will be quite a big difference so you definitely want to subscribe if you haven't already so you catch that one because I think that will be, uh, there will be a bit of a difference or maybe more of a difference, certainly more of a difference than Cobra HP. Right I'm going to stop babbling on. Uh, thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Cheers.